For its third consecutive Turkish Airlines EuroLeague campaign, Savena Zvezda Telecom Belgrade decided to go big, both literally and figuratively, by signing former EuroLeague champion Sofoklis Skorzenitis. And when it was time for Big Sofo to land in the Serbian capital, the club and its passionate fans planned a surprise welcome. Scott Sanitis was first greeted at the airport by Zvezda's general manager and press officer, expecting to go directly to the team facilities. That's when Sofo was given a piece of bad news. They explained to me that there was a, a problem with the car, so uh, we will have to take a bus so we can go to an outside location to acquire another car. Uh, at the time, I'd probably say it sounds normal, no problems. Um, I didn't know if it was a public bus or a shuttle. It was uh, no issue for me. So Foklis did not mind getting on a rusty old public bus that would take him to another car, or so he thought. Actually, I've been in worse. I mean, uh, I didn't really mind uh, at the time. I mean, uh, I don't know, maybe because of the flight, maybe because I was really tired. I mean, I didn't really think about it. They told me we are going to go to get another car, so I thought it was like only for a while, so there was no problem. Even though Sofo was not initially troubled by the change of plans, as the bus ride continued, the big guy did start wondering about what was happening. Well, actually, I was uh, thinking about it. I mean, I was looking outside and I feel like the airport can't be that big. I was like, it's a little bit weird. But soon enough, the big surprise was revealed. After a while, uh, music started coming out. That's the music uh, that I heard before. I was curious. I was like, I heard this before. And suddenly, all the fans in the bus, uh, they took out uh, the jackets, they had like uh, red star uh, jerseys underneath and they started singing, which uh, was uh, pretty amazing. The local media had been closely covering Scott Sanitis' arrival, so Zvezda's little prank soon hit the news cycle. Before long, a team-produced video depicting the episode went viral on the internet. But the first time, like, when uh, I started coming out, uh, what actually happened, I mean, the first uh, piece of, uh, of news was that, that they picked me up with a bus, so nobody exactly knew what happened in the bus. My wife, she knows that I don't really care about this kind of thing, so she's like, she didn't say anything. Then the whole video came out, and uh, a lot of people called me, so like, yeah, that was great, that was amazing, so like, yeah, it was pretty nice. So, uh, I was really surprised. Sofo says he truly appreciated the effort by his new club to making this happen. People that work in the club, you know, they really enjoy their uh, what they're doing. Uh, they really love uh, the team. They willing to go the extra mile to to achieve. Uh, uh, what the, the goals? I mean, this is what it looked at me. I mean, uh, the people, of course, uh, they love the club, and uh, I saw I saw that uh, in the way they greeted me, and uh, I was really happy. And usually, whatever I play, I have a great connection with the, the with the fans, and um, that only uh, motivated me for uh, the upcoming season. This unusual welcome turned out even better than the team could have expected. But such a warm welcome also sets high expectations for team and player alike. It feels good, but also gives you a, a kind of a, it puts you kind of the spot, gives you a little bit, a little bit of pressure. Uh, it means me, it means uh, a lot of people are expecting a lot from you. So uh, um, you gotta work extra hard to not uh, uh, disappoint them. You got to try to meet the expectations. I mean, I understand uh, the team had a great season last year, so I understand uh, they were really excited and uh, they were expecting a lot from this season also.